Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Hope you're all well and safe and hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday. So let's get right into your messages. I got some channel messages here as always. And you guys, somebody watching this video is going to resonate with this message. A few people might resonate with this because I was picking up on this energy all day. I was out in the park earlier, um, spending time with my kids at the park, and I was getting a lot of messages there. So, yeah, here they are. First things first. They're nothing like you, Aries, okay? That's what all I have to say. They're nothing like you. Whoever you are dealing with, whoever you keep clashing with, whoever you're trying to force something to fit in your life, force this person to fit in your life, or try to make something work, but it's not working, they're not like you. They're nothing like you, okay? Whoever you are, you're dealing with a dark empath. Okay, this is like a master manipulator. This is like somebody that likes to project their energy and always play like the innocent person in a scenario where um, they never admit to what they're doing because this person is like a covert narcissist. Okay, so you're dealing with male or female. You're dealing with a covert narcissist, somebody that they like to blend in. Okay, this person likes to blend in. All right, this person is not who they say they are. And you, whoever you are, you're intuitive. You could be picking up on this energy often. And like, every once in a while, you, you pick up on it, you get the memo, you feel it, you see it, and you can't deny it, whoever you are, that you're trying to force a situation to fit in your, in your life, but it's not working. Whatever it is, okay? You could be the type of person that you are very observative. You're observative. You observe everything around you. You're always paying attention, even though, even when someone thinks that you're not paying attention, you're paying attention. You see everything. Nothing has passed you. But you might not be, um, you might not be expressing this to this person, or you might not be uh, trusting your intuition. You have to trust your intuition. First things first. First part of being spiritual, first part of tapping into your gifts and honing in on your gifts, connecting with your guides, is trusting your ancestors' messages, trusting your own intuition is important, okay? You're dealing with a dark empath, covert narcissist, and you, whoever you are, you're a empath healer, light worker, okay? You like to make everybody feel comfortable around you. You like to make sure everybody's good before you make sure that you're good. You, you're like the caretaker type, all right? So you're always doing everything for everybody. But when it comes down to it, you can start feeling sad. You can start feeling like you do so much for other people, but no one goes out of their way or shows up for you when you need them. So this could be, it's, it's, it's a type of connection that it's basically, it's taking from you. It's taking more from you. It's not, it's not like it's empowering you. It's not giving you confidence. This connection or this person is not making you feel valuable. And whoever you are, you know this yourself, but you keep trying to see past that situation or you keep denying the fact that no matter how you go about things with this person, they're always going to still let you down. They're always going to disappoint you. They're always going to make you feel bad. They're always going to do it because that's who they are and that's how they take your energy. That's how they project and take your energy. Okay, but at the end of the day, you end up feeling, the, the, you end up feeling depleted. You end up questioning yourself. You end up um, you end up losing sleep that night, okay, when you are around this person. You, they always put you in your head. They always have to say something or do something to make you question them or to make you question things or to make you feel bad. This person can't help it, whoever they are. You've been guided for a while. This could be a family member. This could be a co-worker. This could be a friend. This could be anybody in your life, somebody that you're dealing with. This person can't help it. They really don't like you. They can't stand you. But it's, it's like in their best interest or they rather pretend to like you so they can take your energy even though they don't like you. They love taking your energy. It's like a thing for them. Their entity demon that they have attached is obsessed with taking your energy. So if you don't stand your ground, put up your boundaries, this person is going to continue to do this, this to you over and over again. All right? So when you get an intuitive message, 
You need to go, uh, you need to make your decision based on that. You don't need to question yourself. You don't need to keep giving them another opportunity to let you down. You don't need to keep doing that because right now, you're on the verge of something new. You're on the verge of, of, of expanding your business or you're on the verge of inventing something or you're on the verge of having a major transition in your life, making better choices and decisions. And this person does not fit into your plans or they don't fit into your life because they're, uh, it's like a positive and a negative energy, all right? This person is not the positive energy and this person will sit there and make you feel like exhausted to the point where you're not getting your, your projects done, where you're not motivated to do things that you were supposed to be doing. It's like a setback in your energy every time. So if you notice that at one point, you know, your life is going good, everything's working out, things are looking up, and all of a sudden, this person takes your energy too many times, things start looking down, things start slowing down, things start going left. This is, this is what I'm talking about. So if you can pick up on the pattern, then you know you can figure this person out. If you deny it to yourself, if you're in denial of it, then yeah, then that's going to be a problem, then you're self-sabotaging yourself. So um, whoever you are, um, you don't deal with a lot of people. You don't cut a lot of people out of your life, but it's like this one person that is, is lingering in your energy or that they still feel entitled to come around you, maybe because they're family, maybe because they're related, or maybe because... You know, they know you for so long, or you guys go way back. Who knows why this person feels entitled to your energy or why they feel like they could randomly show up just to spite you or randomly say something or do something just to upset you on purpose. There, this is not a coincidence that this individual keeps doing these things because whoever you are, you're the type of person that you're outspoken. Like, you can speak your truth. You can speak for yourself. You can... Let somebody know the things that you don't like, all right, because that's who you are. You don't want nobody to, uh, to get it twisted with you too many times because you're the type of person where, you know, your cutoff game is strong, okay? You've been through so much that you don't mind cutting somebody out if it means your peace, if it means your energy, if it means, like, you know, protecting yourself in that way. So this person is, like, playing with fire. That's what I heard. They're playing with fire. And somebody literally could have a fire or there could be a fire almost happening, in somebody's home and like they catch that on right on time and put the fire out before it gets worse I don't know who that gonna resonate with because I said they're playing with fire somebody could be playing with candle magic somebody could be doing candle work on you and suddenly uh, the candle it starts to catch on fire and there's like almost a fire this person spooked they had a close call that was just a warning somebody had a warning and somebody else if you're lighting a protection candle and your candle just catches on fire or something happens where the glass cracks and it almost causes a fire, all right, then somebody sent some sort of negative energy to you, to your home, to cause some sort of upheaval, to cause some sort of catastrophe, and your ancestors caught it right on time, and you caught it right on time, because you, whoever you are, you're divinely protected. Okay, it isn't easy for people to just come in your energy and, and sit there and send you some energy or curse you and sit back and watch it play out. Because what they're going to see is the opposite of what they thought they were going to watch play out. What they're going to see is that um, whatever it is that they sent out is going to ricochet and hit them instead. And you're just going to feel a little bit of it and you're going to be fine. It's not going to play out the way they thought. Just like, for instance, somebody watching my video, be, be uh, aware when you're driving Make sure that you're safe when you're driving. Wear your seatbelt, pay attention to the road. Don't be on your phone, don't be distracted. Okay, because there's like this person that is like an uncle drunko in your life or in your, in, your, in your community, in your neighborhood. Somebody around you, whether you know them or not, they're like an uncle drunko or they've been drinking. There could be a bar around your house and people are like speeding or driving fast when they're leaving this bar. And all of a sudden, you just so happen to be coming down that road and Uncle Drunko is driving fast and they're speeding behind you. And you press your brakes and they literally hit you from behind because Uncle Drunko was speeding. Okay, so whoever you are, you might have had a minor accident, but you were saved. Nothing happened to you. You were okay. You didn't die. Nothing major happened. Your car just got bumped a little bit. Whoever you are, the Most High God intervened in that situation. God's hand was there with you. Archangel Michael was there with you and you were protected from it. And this is going to resonate with somebody, not everybody. That's a side message. But whoever you are, you got to be careful while you're driving. There's a lot of crazy people on the road. And you could have almost had an accident and Spirit protected you. Almost had an accident, but you moved your car right on time. You stopped right on time. 
you you don't you need to know how protected you really are. All right, you guys need to know how protected you guys really are, because every day you leave your house, you're targeted. Every day you go somewhere, there's a a situation waiting to unfold around you. Okay, because you're being heavily watched and targeted by different people in different places, and they're being sent to where you are. Because somehow they're watching you so much, they be knowing where you're going, or they have you have somebody in your environment or in your energy, all right, that's telling these people where you are, and they're secretly working against you, but you don't know it. That that could be the case, or they just have some sort of GPS tracker on you on your phone, or somehow they hacked it. But you gotta pay attention to this. If you go somewhere and all of a sudden you see somebody staring at you, you don't know this person, they're the watchers. All of a sudden, you see somebody you know, and you don't want to see that person. They're just there all of a sudden. They irritate you. They make you want to leave. They, they ruin your day. Or all of a sudden, the cops, the cops show up. There's a complaint about something, and they're ruining your day. Yeah, that's orchestrated, okay? You guys already know you guys got to be very careful and vigilant whenever you're outside. Because it's almost like when you go outside, it's like you feel like an open target. Whoever you are, you feel like you're always being watched and targeted. So you can't even relax, you can't enjoy yourself. You always gotta be looking around and paying attention to your environment because anything could happen at any given time. And that's the way uh, they're orchestrating things in your life. But you have to take back control of your life and your power and you have to speak to God and say a prayer whenever you go outside your house. Always say a prayer to God to keep you safe, to keep you protected, to ensure that you get home safely and that anybody that's an enemy to you lurking in any corner that they be dealt with by God's almighty powerful hand because you are protected. You have to start saying more prayers. You have to start praying more to God. You have to start calling on God because there's people in your life that they're literally judging you for being spiritual. They're judging you for having gifts. They're judging you for helping people. They're literally saying that God doesn't favor you or that you don't know nothing about God or you're not connected. You don't have a connection with God. These people don't know nothing about you. These, see, these people are, are the type of people that they don't have a connection with God. So they don't know what it is to be somebody that's targeted, that went through everything in life, mental prison, being betrayed, being cheated on, all right, being targeted, um, being put in harm's way by your own family members. That's who you are and what you've been through. How do you think you got through that energy? How do you think you survived if God's hand wasn't on you the whole time? If God didn't know that you were going to experience these things, because you're a powerful healer and you need to experience pain and betrayals in order to heal, in order to teach other people how to heal from it. You understand? That's who you are. So they're going to judge you and they're going to look down on you for actually using your experience to help you have a better life for yourself, to help you tap into your spirituality and your ancestors, spirit guides, and the most high God. These people are sitting there criticizing you, all right, for it. But there's somebody here that's wearing a false mask too. This is somebody that acts like they don't believe in spirituality, they don't believe in tarot, they don't believe in psychic, they don't believe in none of that. They don't believe that we have past lives, they don't believe in none of that. That's what they say. But this person is wearing a false mask. This person is a fraud. This person is trying to make other people around them believe that they don't believe in this. But this person is low-key obsessed with watching tarot, they're low-key obsessed with watching you. They're low-key doing um, some sort of weird investigation. They're doing their research because they're experimenting with some sort of love spells when it comes to you, all right? Because this person is obsessed with whoever you are. This person knows your gifts are real, but they pretend that, that your gifts are not real and that they're not impressed by you and that they don't believe in your gifts or spirituality, but this person is low-key obsessed with watching tarot readings, okay? Side message for somebody. Yeah. There, somebody here, they see your confidence, right? And it irritates them so much because, like I said before, they're, not, they're nothing like you. They have dark thoughts about you all the time. They have dark thoughts about other people. You know, whatever goes on in their mind is very negative, and um, it's not good. Whatever they think about, whatever, they, whatever energy they're in, it's really not good, okay? And you believe in people. You're the type of person that you give people multiple chances or you just believe in people you believe that people could change you believe that people could evolve you believe that that somebody that's dark could actually come to the light that they can repent for whatever sins or they could change themselves but this person in particular no this person can't change because this person um this person is shackled i i heard shackles so somebody could be incarcerated 
Somebody could be in shackles or somebody's getting incarcerated. Somebody could be, house could be getting raided or somebody could be getting pulled over and you're getting arrested. A right side message for somebody. But this person that I'm talking about, they're, they're, they belong or they sold their soul to the devil and the price was cheap because they sold their soul to be able to get gifts from people so people could always be there for them, so they could be attractive. You know, they sold their soul for, for something so stupid and it doesn't even involve money, it's weird. And this person is beyond repair, like they can't, they can't get their self out of it. They're literally in debt with the devil, they're in debt with the devil, okay? So let me keep it moving. They see your confidence and it irritates them so much. And somebody always finds a way to trigger you to react, so make a decision, Aries. And block this person because you're, you've never been afraid to block people. You've never been afraid to cut this person off. I mean, people off. But for some reason, you're having a hard time cutting this person off. For some reason, you feel, uh, I don't know. It's like you feel, I don't know. You feel obligated to try to make them see their wrongs. or you're out. You feel obligated to keep giving them multiple chances or whatever. I don't know why this, it's hard for you to cut this individual off, this particular person. But this is a warning from spirit. If you don't, this person is going to cause you a major tower moment, okay? They are because, like, whoever you are, I feel like this energy inside of you is adding up. It's adding up. It's adding up. And it's almost like it's adding up until you go off, until you speak your mind or you just go off. And it's, it's like you can't come back from that. You know, and you don't want you don't want to do it that way. You don't want to have to lower your energy, soup to their level, get into it with them in order to cut them off. You can do it nicely, respectfully, without getting into it. You know, choose your battles wisely is what I'm trying to say here. Choose your battles. Yeah, because somebody acts like they hold you in high regard, or somebody else holds you in high regard, and you know what it is to be spoiled and loved and held in high regard. You know what that feels like. So when somebody gives you opposite of that energy, you also know that's not real love or that that's not genuine and that's not what it is and that's not making you feel good. So there's somebody that does admire you or hold you in high regard, though, seriously. Like, if somebody here is taking advantage of your energy, then if you don't stand your ground and take back your power, this person's going to block some sort of opportunity. Pride. Somebody's very prideful. But you know what? Pride comes before the fall. Somebody feels like they're on a negative path or cycle. But if they keep taking your energy, they'll be okay. They can still manifest blessings for themselves. But this person didn't do any spiritual work. They didn't heal. They haven't evolved. They, don't, they say, well, they don't really believe in your spirituality or they really don't believe in your gifts or they say they don't. And so, yeah, this is the person here that's too prideful. But whoever this person is, you see them looking at that laptop. They could be spying on you often. They could be checking out what you're doing, or they can be watching tarot readings and say they don't believe in it. Oh, my God. This person is entitled. You see how they're sitting there with their arms crossed, and they got a crown on their head? This is the type of person that people, like, this person feels like everybody owes them something. Or maybe this person feels like everybody holds them in high regard because, you know, this person is just... A people person or I don't know this person has people that back them up maybe because they have money maybe because of their status maybe because their family's famous or something I don't know but this person it's not a good person and it doesn't matter what this person has if they're making you feel like that then they're not for you yeah this could be getting you so stressed out Whoever you are, you're having sleepless nights, you're tossing and turning, you're having weird dreams, pay attention to them. This energy is really conflicting with yours. And it's like a negative and a positive, a oil and water never mix type energy, okay? The death card, somebody is, huh, somebody's at the graveyard, oh my god, somebody's at the graveyard at night, you see how it's dark out, and they, there's like a candle on this grave, there's like flower right there, but there's candle here, there's crosses around it. Somebody was at the graveyard lighting a candle, chanting, and doing some weird rituals on somebody's grave, okay? This person is experiencing dark, like, this person is experiencing weird things happening in their energy, supernatural events. This person conjured something up thinking they were going to send it to you. It got sucked to them instead. All right, side message. Somebody could be passing away. My condolences, you could just be, all of a sudden you get a call and it just, you find out somebody passed and it, it's like... You, you need to heal, you need time to process, you need time to grieve, you need time to mourn. 
And if this isn't you, you could be there for somebody that is, you know, you know that's going through this. You could be there for this person or they're going to need you to be there for them. Okay, so pay attention to your goals. Your goals are important and all the self-love you got to give to yourself, give it to yourself. Because there's going to be some sort of information or evidence that you're going to get that uh, gives you the confirmation that you need regarding this individual. So you can um, do what you need to do. All right, take back your personal power and your energy. And if somebody's going to come and, hmm, you know, be careful with the with the company you keep, right? Because you'd rather be alone than in bad company. Six of Pentacles, you're being rewarded for something, you're being gifted something, somebody could be donating to you, gifting you, or somebody's coming in to help you with some sort of resource that you might need. Or suddenly something that's owed to you comes through and you get this payout, this financial windfall. You could be getting a lot of messages from someone, okay? They could be giving you the information about this money that's that's yours or about something that they're sending you, giving to you, helping you with. They could be texting you, messaging you, or phone call or email. This is Aries Leo Sag energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy and the world card. A brand new cycle here. So when this blessing comes in, you're going to be able to make a decision. You're going to be able to invest in something. You're going to be able to move forward regardless of the obstacles that and challenges that this person and these people that you're dealing with are literally trying to set for you. It's not working. They want you to feel rejected, isolated. They want you to question yourself. They don't like the attention you get, so they're going to try to make you feel less than. They're going to try to ignore you so you can feel like not valuable. But this person knows how valuable you really are. This person knows you get a lot of attention too. And the chariot is here. Don't let this person play these mind games with you. Move forward, my love, because whoever you are, you're the high priestess. You know everything there is to know about people when they come in your energy. Or you just get messages. You could be having vivid dreams. And you could be having premonitions. You are a high priestess. You are spiritually gifted. You are in tune with your divine ancestors. The letter J or B might be significant. Somebody could have those letters, B or J in their first or last. You know, like there's a chariot, a cancer energy here. A chariot. Somebody could be coming towards you. Or you... Somebody's getting a new car, congratulations to somebody getting a vehicle. You needed that vehicle, God is blessing you with a vehicle. Okay, side message for someone. And for everybody else, this cherry is moving forward with the world card. You're having an expansion, all right, because you're standing out, all right? You're getting a lot of attention, or whatever you do is really starting to attract people. It's a hair of font energy. Yeah, because you tapped into your divine energy, and there's some sort of justice coming in for you, whoever you are in the justice system. You could be winning a court case. Something could be going in your favor. Congratulations for that. You could have been worried about a situation, but no, everything's going to go in your favor. So get out of your head or somebody's doing something strategically to have you losing sleep or having weird dreams. Or this is this person. This is a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. They could be losing sleep. They could be going through a, a tower moment. This person really, really targeted you the most. Wow. And a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini Libra Aquarius towards Virgo Capricorn. This is the energy here. All right? Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to cause an argument in your home or if you're in a connection or you live with people or roommate or it's like you live by yourself and somebody outside your energy is trying to create instabilities for your foundation or they want you to have arguments with your person. If you're with somebody, somebody else outside of your life that you don't speak to anymore they don't like the fact that you're with this person they don't want you dealing with nobody so this person is going to go ahead and result to spell work to try to cause conflict and chaos in your connection and this person is really doing this strategically they want you to break up with this person and they want you to be alone isolated without no love in your life and it's not up to them it's up to the divine all right it is up to god when when you are happy or when you're with the right person it's up to god it's not up to nobody else the Queen of Swords is that you're standing your ground or you're dealing with a Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Karmic, Female, Poison, Ivy, all up in your energy. Could be Devo. Devo could be the, the, the Karmic Queen of Swords. Devo could be a little feminine too. Devo could be uh, bisexual on the low, on the cover lover. Devo, because if it's Devo right now coming out in your reading, Devo's coming out as the Queen of Swords. All right? If this is the Karmic Poison, Ivy, this is her, the Queen of Swords. Okay? Yeah, heal your heart chakra. This person is sneaky. They're devious. They, you can't trust this person. I'm telling you, you cannot. Okay, because they want you in the eight of swords, mental prison. This person was sent towards you to put you in your head about yourself, to make you feel like you're, there's something wrong with you. You're not that great. 
Aries, you're not that great. You're just all oh, right. You're mediocre, and they rather uh, make you feel like that so that way you don't move forward, so you don't have confidence, so you don't attract what what you meant to attract, so they can feel better about themselves. Oh wow! So this person is low key insecure. This person is insecure, so they want to make you insecure. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here because this energy is really irritating me right now my loves, and you get the gist, you get the memo, okay, so don't say I didn't warn you about this person that's going to put you in an eight of swords, if you don't stand your ground and take back your power, or whoever you are, it doesn't matter who it is, if they irritate your spirit, if they do it often, then that person has some sort of dark energy attachment that's attacking you, they're using, the entity is using this person to attack you directly, pay attention, 979, the number 979, trust your joy, trust that you will have a joyful uh, new beginning. Somebody was using your information and they got caught, okay? This person is, is so scared. This person is afraid because they got a notice or they got flagged or they got a letter in the mail or they got notified that they were using your info and now there's an investigation. This person is scared that at any moment the police are going to show up and arrest them because they tried to do something strategic in using your information to get some sort of money by tomorrow and they think they got away with it? Hell no. This person is going down because if they literally did that, wherever they did that at, there was a camera, there was facial recognition, and there's cameras everywhere in the matrix, guys. We're always being watched. Just remember that. We're never getting away with nothing when you're outside in the matrix. Even in your home, you could be getting watched nowadays you know they can watch us through our phones through our tvs they watch us in different ways so you have a nosy neighbor that's watching everything you do you already know that sending you evil eye or projecting energy to you but you have the ace of pentacles this neighbor